here's a challenge for you. You have to fill in each one of these pink circles with a prime number between 29 and 73 so that the totals of each blue line uh, are equal. So when I add together these four numbers here, I get the same as when I add together these four numbers here, the same as these ones here, these ones here, these ones here and these ones here, those six totals all have to be the same. And I want to work out eventually this number here, and I should add all of the numbers are going to be different so we can't repeat any of the numbers that we use in the diagram. First thing we're going to want to think about here is what are the prime numbers between 29 and 73? Well, there are exactly 12 of them, 29, 31, 37, etc., all written on the screen here, and there are only 12 spaces in total in the star, so because the prime numbers are all different, we're going to put exactly one of these numbers in each one of the spaces in the star. And we've already used some of them, so I can eliminate 29, 67, 47, 41, and 73 from this list. And so that leaves us with just these seven numbers for the remaining circles that we have to fill in. And there are a couple of ways we can go from here, but I'm going to show you a super efficient method that you can use in loads of other problems like this as well. First, notice that if we put A and B in these circles, these ones look like the easiest to work out because I've already got three out of four in this horizontal blue line down here, and I've got three out of four in this uh, blue line here. So if I knew the total of all of the uh, four of those, the magic total that I'm going to call it, the equal uh, number that is the same total for each of the lines, then I could just subtract the other numbers from that and work out A and B straight away. So how do we work out that magic total? The really elegant way to do this is to work out six times the magic total. Now why six? Well it's because there are six blue lines in this diagram, so what I'm going to try and do is add together the total via this blue line, plus the total via this one, 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 and if I do that I should get six times the magic total. Next let's think about how many times each number gets counted when we do that. So for example this 67 here, that lies in this line, but it also lies in this line, so the 67 will get counted twice. Uh, the 41 lies in this line and this line, so it will get counted twice. The A would lie in this line and this line, so it would be counted twice. And you can check that every single number here is in exactly two of the blue lines, so every single number gets counted twice. But we know exactly the numbers we're choosing from. It's exactly all of the prime numbers between 29 and 73. So six times that magic total must be two times the sum of all the numbers in the star shape, two times the sum here. Now we can just add those numbers together and get 612. So 6 times the total is 2 times 612, so the total is just 612 divided by 3, and that gives us the total is 204. So now we've got the magic total, we can go back to looking at this line here, say 73 plus A plus 41 plus 47 must be that magic total 204. So just by subtraction we get that A is 43. In the same way we can look at this line here and say 29 plus B plus 67 plus 47 is 204 and so B is 61. It also means we can cross two more prime numbers off of our list here, 43 and 61, and we've just got five prime numbers left to fit into five circles. Now to finish this off I've just labelled four other circles C, D, E and F here and looking at this line here, we've got 73 plus C plus D plus 29 is 204, and that means that C plus D is 102. Now if you check this list of prime numbers we've got left, the only ones that add to 102, the only pair, are 31 and 71. So C and D must be 31 and 71 in some order. Now if we think about E and F, from this line here, E plus 67 plus 41 plus F is 204, so E plus F is 96, but we've only got these three numbers left for E and F, so that means that E and F must be 37 and 59 in some order, they're the only ones that add together to give 96. So when we think about question mark, well we know 31 and 71 are ruled out from being C and D, we know 37 and 59 are ruled out from being E and F, and that only leaves the question mark to be 53. So we've managed to work out question mark without actually working out C, D, E and F individually, but you can also work them out individually from here if you want to, so why don't you have a go at that and leave those answers in the comments for me. It always makes me happy when I see people have got to the end of these videos, I've made loads more videos like this in online courses and here on YouTube, I think if you like this video you might want to watch this one next as well, another really interesting math problem.